Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Got another video for you guys from Buffalo Exchange and I believe some Goodwill and stuff in here. And uh, just some some random sneakers I saw. You could see they had these flights uh, right here with a, with a crazy like little pattern over the top of them. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, I haven't seen those since the release. That was like the first images of the first ones releasing. Digi Camo, uh, Lunar, uh, Air Force Ones, I think those ones were. Check these out. These Louis Vuitton um, sneakers. These things are $175. I believe they're horsehair. Uh, really, really crazy quality. I, d I looked them up. I think they retail at like $500 or something crazy. But uh, they were kind of thrashed. Although if they were brand new, I probably would have bought them and just try to flip them um, just to see if anybody would have wanted them. But they were kind of um, tossed. Air Force Ones, it looks like somebody did these studs themselves. I don't remember them ever releasing with studs like this. Uh, if you guys do, like maybe leave a comment. I don't know. But interesting nonetheless. Um, some random sneakers. Uh, I don't Are those Reeboks? I think they were. Uh, and then they had these um, Air Force One 25-year anniversary ones. I actually really like these sneakers. I have a pair of all black ones, still DS, and a pair that I wore a lot. showed you guys these ones already. They still had these ones in stock. Multicolor, um, $38. I mean, some of the prices are so expensive. These ones are great. A great price for the, the multicolor fly nets. Really good shape as well. Some Adidas, $42. Some interesting colors there. Solar Softs, again, um, kind of the Beach of Rio kind of colorway, if you will. $40. On those, and then they had these uh, crazy like um, D Rose kind of tiger print ones, and then these I'm sure these Yamamoto's are probably pretty expensive retail, um, so I'm not sure I don't know anything about these this brand, but they had them there for pretty cheap I think. Some uh, so another look at another pair of Hirachis, which we, we saw some last time as well, and then let's see here some random Reeboks. These ones are actually kind of cool. They kind of remind me of some old school stuff that I would have uh, seen. Twenty five dollars not a bad price and really great condition these ones actually were pretty rad i mean actually i like these ones these random adidas zx 800 dbs um they're my size i just didn't uh, didn't cop them kind of, kind of some snakeskin adidas there get definitely get some weird one-off um adidas and all over print kind of 80 85 or 35 year anniversary it says right there uh, the superstars and uh some random adidas again check out the the soles on these things kind of wild this mega foam stuff it's like kind of the prequel to the the stuff that we have now with the boost stuff maybe um some random looking uh nike just casual shoes nice looking quality at least these ones they still had there i just was showing you these ones again i don't think i showed the price tag maybe i did last time 26 bucks uh and then let's see here some random uh free 5.0s interesting looking upper i've never seen those before and then look at these things, these wildlife sort of weird print uh, sneakers. And this is transitioning back over to the Goodwill. So I go back and forth between these two stores um, and, and just combine the video because it's easier that way. A wearable work of art, the Bradford Exchange. I have no idea anything about these, but look at a little panda. <laughs> I don't even know what to do, whatever. Uh, kind of random and crazy. This is another random stuff I stopped at a thrift store. And look at these crazy, crazy snake-like boot things. And then I saw this Korea like shirt from Disneyland. I thought that was kind of epic, so I took a picture of that for no particular reason. And then moving on to some more uh, randomness, I just took some pictures of these Nike ID um, cork uh, f features from the Jordan um, Spizikes. The Spizikes don't get enough love, dude. It's a hybrid of some of the best models, but uh, but I think that they're, I don't know, man, just not enough love. Really cool cork looking uh, features, though. I definitely think that they did a good job with, uh, with that. And the gum soles with the cork I mean, I like both of these models. They look both really clean, in my opinion. Um, showing you the cork kind of up close and giving you guys a, kind of a, a little bit closer look. And then um, they had all these in stock when, when I went in and actually filmed this video. And you can see um, this is actually a pair of the Concord, so so they were called, but it's more of a Orlando colored um, of the foam posits. Anyway, moving on, this is another Goodwill stop that I ended up making. I, I make lots of these stops, and then I just try to combine them into a video when I get a chance, so hopefully that's okay with you guys. Um, these Hirachis were sim samples actually right here, I believe, or, or I think these were samples or Nike IDs. I guess we'll see in a second. Um, they look kind of interesting. They, the, the mesh was ripped. I think these are samples. Yeah, uh, there they are right there. So some samples for 2012. Uh, random samples that, um, that they had there. These ones are another pair of samples. Or no, that was the other one. Sorry, th that was the other one. And these ones are some uh, Air Max um, that they had there, Air Max 1s. And then they had some other randomness here. Those ones were $20. Then they had a couple more samples. Just randomness again. These ones are wear test samples, it says, I think. Uh, as you can see right here. Yeah, wear test sample. The Mariah Hot. I've never seen those, but $27. It looks like it was on sale. Uh, and they were worn a little bit, as you can see. Kind of an interesting model, though. I have no idea what the feature or the function is, but 
um, kind of interesting. And this was next to a Goodwill, Goodwill next to Nike headquarters, actually. So you always run into random stuff. And I apologize for the fuzzy picture here. This is a pair of Adidas that are uh, Adidas sample. Um, I always just love going in and seeing and looking because, I mean, I live in the Mecca place for samples. You can see it says sample on the inside. And these things look pretty much brand new. And they're $25 uh, from Goodwill. But samples, I mean, it's kind of, uh, again, rare and, and fun. Randomness, though, you end up with random stuff. These are like uh, Air Force One boots with some crazy designs. Obviously, you can see that they're worn, and the back tab heel was uh, bent up quite a bit. I think these were $20 or something like that. Air Force XXX, it said on it. Um, interesting. Weird designs. Just some more randomness. They actually had quite a few of these ones. Um, these are all samples. They had three different ones of this exact model. Uh, I've never seen them before either. The Lunar Spiders, I don't remember them at all. Uh, but they were all samples you can see right here from, looks like, um, 2012. And here's another one upside down. Sorry for that label. But um, it says sample. Same same shoe, different colorway. Kind of cool. I like this one better. And then you can see the soles on them uh, right here. And then kind of a, a little more up close. So you can see it has some nice materials built into it uh, as well. $30. I think those were on sale as what that 14G stands for. I'm not sure. Anyway, random pair of Nike Blazers. Look at that tree on the back. Love that logo. And then just a really crazy looking uh, blazer with this weird pattern all over the upper. Uh, kind of dig that one. Um, really, like these ones are dead, like pretty much dead stock brand new. Um, and uh, the price was, looks like they were on sale from whatever that $39 are. Clog Posits, the original ones. These ones are thrashed. Pretty crazy size 9, but they were definitely thrashed. I can't believe they retroed those. And of all the things Nike could retro, why would they bring those back? Uh bizarre to me but maybe there's a market for it that i don't know of random dunks that they had there some more random dunks i don't know which ones those were um some um linings I, i've never even seen these things either they're old so it's kind of crazy they're called the freestyles for anybody that's a fan of that brand um obviously way away turns us on to it some presto cro cross trainers it looks like oh no maybe these are golf shoes presto golf shoes pretty wild looking some random uh, lunars and uh, these ones were, were actually samples as well. So definitely some random samples, nothing too crazy. These ones are the Lunar Spiders again. So this is the third colorway I was talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.